Okay guys, let's finish up this last two parts of this problem. Alright, here we go. So it says Brooke decides that she has a budget from 800 to 1500. What percent of bikes fall in that range? So once again, let's just make a plot to help us out. We'll go to normal and go to plot the normal distribution. Okay, and let's go ahead and delete out our purple section. We'll just go back to our red. And we want to go from 800 to 1500. So that's just what we're going to do. That's This part of the question doesn't say if we're still focusing on just an 800 minimum, but we'll go between these two and we'll click OK. And we get from 800 to 1500. We want to know, okay, what's the probability of that a randomly selected bike will fall within her, um, her price range? All right, so let's go take a look. So let's go to distributions, normal, we can go to probabilities. We can go 800 comma 1500 and we can click, uh, we'll do lower tails on this one so that we're using our normal CDF less than 800, less than 1500. Click OK and we can copy this, paste it, subtract. So what I'm copying and pasting are, this one is the probability that we are less than 1500. This is the probability that we're less than 800. Subtract them from each other and we've got the probability that we are between these two values. And we get like almost 70% of the bikes are within her price range. Let's paste that and let's write out, I forgot to do a probability statement, let's do it. 800 is less than our discrete random variable which is less than 1500. That's what we're looking for. Okay, number six, here we go. Okay, 63.2% of bikes cost more than what value? Okay, so we're saying that, you know, 63.2% are going to be above what price point? So we're basically saying, okay, 62% starting from the right and coming down, where is that value going to be? We know that if we come from the right to the left, at 1,000 is 50%, and then as we kind of sneak our way over, um, we're going to get more and more. So we're at 63.2, I'd say, I don't know, maybe $900, because I know it's past 1,000, where we've got 50%, yeah, so maybe 900, that's kind of my guess, uh, but we can go and verify that here in just a second. So the probability, um, Oh, we, we know what the probability is. What we don't know is, okay, x is going to be greater than some value, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.632. And we want to know what is this little value. Let's see if I can't. I'll highlight it real quick. Ah, uh, never mind. We'll leave it be. Okay. So, let's answer that question. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to distributions, and this one we need to use the quantiles. Okay, so we've got a mean of 1,000. We've got a standard deviation of 300. And we want the probabilities for... Um, or we want the value for a specific probability. Okay, so we want, this is our quantile, 0.632, but we need to come from the right side because we want to know of, of what is 63.2% cost more than what. All right, so I'm going to do an upper on this one, and then I'm going to plot it so that we can double check our answer. So I'm going to click OK, and we get, hey, I was really close when I said 900. I'm going to copy this guy, and the value of the bike is like almost $900. So let's do one more. Distributions, we're going to go to plotting our normal. And this time we're going to go, once again, we're just going to go above. So 2,000 will be pretty good. And we'll go to 8.98. And I want to click OK. And we see, yeah, so 
about what percentage of bikes cost more than 898.85, and that is, in fact, 63.2. So that's how we go through all of those questions. Hopefully that helps you out. If you need more help, uh, don't hesitate to email me and I can make some more videos. Good luck, you guys.